Paul Clear here from Dick Plumber Marine in Pembroke, Ontario, Canada, part of the Ottawa Valley. Man, am I excited to tell you about this demo boat right here. We've had this boat since 2017. We brought it in last spring, and this is a hot, hot boat. We're trying to promote it, get it online, show folks uh, the outside, the inside of the boat, go through it thoroughly with you. If you want to come down, you can come down to Pembroke and visit us in their showroom. We also have uh, our boat show that's in March. We have it every year in the Pembroke Mall. We got all kinds of Prince Craft boats. We've been with them since the 1970s and they are a hot boat. Um, I've had the pleasure of actually driving this boat a couple times in a couple tournaments this year. So is our general manager, Terry Lance. And for an aluminum hull, let me tell you something. This thing handles big water, small water. And you look at the size of a boat like this and you would think, Will it go in shallow water? And the question is, yes, it will. This thing drafts water like you would not believe. I've been lily pads with this thing, fishing large mouth bass, small mouth bass, offshore structure. But the biggest thing with this boat, if you're fishing big water for trout, salmon, Lake Ontario, etc., this boat will handle the waves, big waves. And that's the nice thing about it. So I'd like to take you thoroughly through the boat. <coughs> First of all, it's got an aluminum hull. It is a riveted hull. The uh, hull on it is H36 aluminum. The H36 aluminum is basically the toughest aluminum on the market, the lightest aluminum on the market. Um, Prince Craft has had this for a while now. Uh, it also has a reverse chine hull for water distribution. It gets this hull up fast on plane and with the 250 Verado supercharge, it is fast. Galvanized trailer, first of all, we've got a really good like 1800 pound winch with a strap, safety chain of course. We have a, a nice uh, dual wheel tongue here because the boat is heavy in the front end. We also have a swivel tongue here so if you have a short garage you can put it in. No tripping hazards the whole nine yards. It does come also with a seven way pin right here for reverse backup. This also has brakes on all four wheels. It is a tandem axle. Uh, LED lighting all throughout the whole trailer. And with the galvanized, of course, no rust. We've got tandem axle trailer like I told you. Good size tires, good size fenders. Also on this, we have hubs right here, your bearing hubs that are basically good for 100,000 kilometers or six years. You don't have to uh, put grease into them like the bearing buddies. You can just leave the fluid in them. Of course, get them checked on your annual service check. Just make sure everything's good. Of course, you've got your low guides on the back here and LED lighting on the back also. <coughs> As for the motor right here, Mercury, phenomenal engine. This is a Mercury Verado 250 Pro. It is supercharged. Um, very, very good running motor. This motor is smokeless. It's very quiet. You can hardly even hear it running when it's at idle. But when you want the power to get up and go, trust me, it will move you fast. I also brought it in with a three blade stainless steel inertia prop. This prop right here, um, by far for this boat, whole shot, mid, top end, phenomenal. On this boat, um, with two people in it. I have had this boat. I can do 58 mile an hour in GPS all day long. Um, 61, it runs really nice, but I have had this boat up to 64 mile an hour on GPS on perfect conditions. And uh, it, it's, it's a very fast haul, very fast motor. The other thing we put on the back of this was a Minn Kota Talon. This Minn Kota Talon right here is a 12 footer. Goes down into the water, holds you there. It is very, very good for if you're tournament fishing, you're out with your chum, out with your wife, and you want to go tournament fishing, and you want it, you want it to hold you in spots where there's offshore fishing, or you know you're fishing a defined structure, or a defined piece uh, in shallow water for largemouth, and that is very, very quiet. Um, it has all kinds of extras on it. You have a remote where you can put it down. There's also uh, on the console you can have it there to go down. Today's in today's world, I mean, the technology that we have with fish finders, talons, all kinds of stuff for fishing is just phenomenal. Um, other than that, the, uh, the hull of the boat 
is very, very tough. Um, Princecraft has been making this uh, 200 expedition. It is a 20 foot, two inch boat um, with the Princecraft team deck along the side of it. I uh, love the deck along this boat. We have had uh, numerous, numerous people say they love the deck on this boat. It's not for everyone, but for myself, they did a really great design on this deckle. And then we also have the TFT, which is Tournament Fishing Team's logo on here also. If you'd like to see this boat at uh, Dick Plummer Marine, I'm telling you, this is the place to come. This is the place to come and check this boat out. Um, we are going to put in some other videos later on of this boat being on the water. You'll be able to see it perform on the water. I'm also going to uh, take you through the inside of the boat and show you what else it has to so like I was telling everyone I was going to go through the boat thoroughly in the inside boat has lots to offer in the inside of it and there's so many things that this boat has I think Prince Craft did a really great job on the interior in this boat one of the biggest things I wanted to show everybody on the front of this boat here is you do have your spot right here where your obviously your front light goes they have multiple cop holders throughout the uh, the boat um, this system right here actually has a blower underneath it it's like a fan they introduced this system. Um, basically, when you're trailering the boat down the road, airflow can go in and help dry out everything inside the uh, inside the boat. Also, when you're driving the boat, it does the same thing. And if you're sitting still, you actually have a switch where you can turn the blower system on. What that in turn does is your rod locker storage, all your storage where your life jacks are, um, your fishing equipment, the whole nine yards, it will help dry that out uh, due to uh, condensation. So that there in itself is really, really great on a boat like this. Um, next thing I'd like to talk about on this is this trolling motor right here is uh, Minn Kota. It's the new Altrex. Um, this here I got to use this year also. Uh, this motor is incredible. What I love about this motor is a couple things. It is a scissor lift motor um, with a shock. Uh, it also has iPilot on the front. This iPilot on the front is just a must as far as I'm concerned. Um, basically with the iPilot, it has anchor mode. Um, you can still have the foot pedal right here. You can control your uh, speed, everything with the foot pedal. If you get in a spot out in rough water, three foot rollers, you can hit anchor and this thing will pick up the GPS satellite and it will hold you in position. Um, I really love it. Uh, some guys I've talked to, they said, yeah, it's not for them, but for a lot of people, I would say lots of people just absolutely love it. And anybody that I've talked to that doesn't have it, does want it after they see it used. The other nice thing is it has a pole here to stabilize the motor in rough water when you're going through them rough waves. Um, it does have also US2. This boat is rigged up for 36 volt. Um, you can get this in a 112 model. So it holds three batteries below right here. Um, lots and lots of power, keep you on the water all day long, even in uh, high currents, lots of waves. Um, it's a must as far as I'm concerned. Nice spot for your light pole so it's not bouncing all over the place inside. Um, the research, re reset floor in here with the foot pedal is also a must. Um, What's really nice about that is when you're sitting on your chair right here, you can sit down and you can actually have your weight on something where you're more stable in rough water and you can use your foot up and down. Your, your, your leg's not up here and hurting your, uh, your back all the time. Um, another thing I also introduced to this was a really good ram mount, nice and solid. Um, this here is nice rubber cover from Humminbird. They do a great job. Um, it's a Helix 10. This particular model does have uh, 2D sonar, GPS, mapping, down imaging, uh, it's it, it, nice size screen, uh, no glare off of it, nothing. Um, because of the down imaging, on the unit with the US2, this only does 2D sonar, but we put the puck on it so we can still use in the front 2D sonar and down imaging to find structure. Uh, when you deploy this down, it's right in front of the boat, you know what's going on right below you. Next thing is their seating. They're seating up here. Uh, you can swivel it 360. It has a gas shock to move up and down for everybody's uh, different people's height, which is really, really nice also. Uh, cargo netting. Cargo netting in the front, really, really nice. Nice and clean look. You can put anything you want in there, baits, uh, plastics, you know, uh, towels, whatever you, whatever you want. You can also have that on the other side also. Grab handles in the front. 
Um, if you're gonna have people sitting up here, uh, that's a must also to have grab handles. And the one thing I wanted to mention to you folks about this boat is some people will look at this boat and say, oh, this is just a fishing boat, a tournament boat. This is not just a fishing tournament boat. What I like about this boat is, yes, it's rigged up for more of the fishing people. You can go with your chum, your wife to a, a tournament, um, a professional tournament. The boat has everything to go into tournaments wise, whether it's bass fishing, pickerel fishing, you name it. And the nice thing about this, some people like to go to big water, and like I said before, fish, trout, salmon, downriggers, all that stuff, it does that. Um, now, let's say a Sunday, mom says, let's grab the kids, let's go out. Well, guess what? Just because it's rigged up for fishing doesn't mean you can't go for a Sunday afternoon cruise, nice day. You're gonna have the kids' friends come over, you can sit up in the bow, you have grab handles for them, you have multiple seating in the boat, so you can take this just for luxury, day out on the water also. And also, tubing, water ski, it does it all. So just because it looks like it's rigged up for fishing doesn't mean that's all you can use it for. So it's very versatile in the way of, it's family oriented, it's got the full windshield also when it's, uh, it comes to bad weather, wind. Um, this particular model does come with a bimini top and it also comes with a full enclosure. So, I mean, if you're caught out in the water with your family and you want to put up the full enclosure and it's totally screened in, you can remove the windows, the whole nine yards, you can go camping with it if you want. There's so many things you can do with this boat and that's what I love about this boat. And basically it's one boat and all. Underneath here in the front, we have a nice size large cooler that uh, has a plug in the bottom. It holds tons of ice, tons of drinks. You can put your lunch in there, keep everything cold. Um, nice locking handles on it, full vinyl floor. And this particular one here on this side, it also has the same on this side over here. Lots of storage for life jackets, uh, tackle, you name it. Nice thing about this boat also is on this side right here, we have a live well. This live well is a good size live well. Um, it's a smaller live well. It also has a live well in the back of the boat, which I'll show you after um, for holding bigger fish. And you can also separate your fish from, you know, going back to tournaments again. You can put some smaller fish up here, some bigger fish in the back. Dual consoles, walk through windshield. You can walk right through, lots of room uh, to walk through. Uh, the other thing, <coughs> windshield locks right up, really nice. Your, it comes with a mooring tra trailer cover, so you can have the boat completely covered when you're going down the road. And again, like I said, you can have the, also the bimini tops and uh, to get you out of the sun. Some people want sun, some people want shade. So you have that also. So at the back of the boat here, um, what I like about this also is the talon is bolted right to the transom, so it's very solid, it's out of the way. The uh, motor doesn't come up and be anywhere in the area where you're walking. Um, it's got a huge backsplash well back here for when you're enduring waves and you have to do some reverse trolling or some reverse backup. You're not gonna get all kinds of water into the back of the boat. Um, at the very back right here is where your rear light goes. That's nice and out of the way. All the cleats are stainless steel, down cleats. Makes a real nice finish to the boat. Um, back in here in this area right here is where your battery would go. Your main battery for cranking, your uh, lights, your uh, hummingbird fish finders, the whole nine yards. It also comes with a nice layer switch on and off switch. So at the end of the day, if you get something on, make sure you turn that switch off and uh, you don't have to worry about the dead battery. The other thing is uh, you can take this, uh, any of your seats out or have an extra seat. You can put a seat back here for somebody to fish off the back. Um, the back live well right here, really, really nice. It's got a huge live well. The uh, air rating system in this is uh, also really, really good. Um, you can really um, take the water in this thing, put big fish in it, small fish in it, and you can recirculate the water. You can change the water, pump water out, pump water in. Their life, uh, live well system itself is, is really, really good. Um, the other thing I like about this one here, it actually has a light in here. So for your guys, for you guys and uh, girls that like to fish pickerel and you're fishing them later at night or you're a night fisherman, you can actually have lights in here so you can actually see what you're doing. 
Um, again, rear cup holders. There, this is the gas tank area right here. Again, kept it nice and high out of the way. Um, you also have some uh, rod down holders right here, so you can lay some rods across here for you know quick access. Pull them down there. Seat area, nice flat deck. Pull up your seat, your jumper seats for your passengers. You also have storage underneath the seats here. Again, another seat right here. Storage area underneath here. They put carpet in here to clean it up and make it look a lot nicer. Um, doesn't look like it has a lot of storage underneath the seats, but trust me, you can get a lot of tackle in this thing. The other thing I like about here is on the back right here, you also have <coughs> lots of storage right here. So lots of, lots of stuff in here also. In here, you still have some grab handles for your passengers when they're sitting here, so they feel secure. Right here, they have another compartment. This is where you can put your post light. You can also put a lot of stuff down here. But the nice thing about this, this also holds four fishing rods. And the rods that you can get in here, you can actually get a seven foot rod in here, no problem at all. And nice vinyl flooring. Everything throughout is vinyl. You can come home, you got lots of sand. You can get in here and you can actually take the hose right to it. You can wash it all out. You don't have to worry about water. Um, over on this side here, again, another grab handle for the passenger. Lots of storage in here too for putting anything you, you mainly want. Their Bimini top system, it comes on and off very easy. You just put it on if you want it that day, screw it on, put it up, and you're good to go. Up in the console section of the boat here too, they really thought it out when they were coming through here. Lots of boats, you don't got enough room to usually come through here. You got lots of walking room between your driver and your passenger if there's other people in the boat. Um, and, and same with the windshield area. They've uh, we've taken a stereo right here and they put a stereo in here, uh, marine graded stereo. On the marine graded stereo right here, what's nice like that is again, you've got uh, satellite, you've got Bluetooth, the whole nine yards, um, whatever you want, you can hook up to it. It does have the cover also for when you're going through we got a walk through light here for at night. They do have an on and off switch right here for the uh, radio also. And in this section right here, we got a 12 volt plug-in. And of course, with nowadays, everybody wants to uh, put their uh, iPhones, hook up their iPhones for their music. We have USB and the port for your uh, music there also. This section right here is, to me, very, very, very smart. Your rod lockers right here, a lot of people nowadays that are really into fishing have a lot of money invested in their, in their rods and their tackle. So they do lock up, so at the end of the day, or if you're out of town someplace and you're worried about your stuff, you have lock compartments that you can actually put your stuff in, lock them up and you don't have to worry about it. Also opens up, it's got two nice shocks to hold this up. Um, this particular uh, model right here, uh, has very good rod holders. You can get your rods in here. Um, it holds up to 10 rods. And you still have enough room in this area right here for if you got bait casters, if you got spinning gear. Some guys now are getting into the seven foot, seven foot six and on. The other nice thing about this, what they introduced is this black piece right here. Slides, opens up, and that's where your batteries or your storage are. Like I said, it holds three batteries. It also has an onboard battery charger. So at the end of the day, plug and play, walk away. Just get to a 110, plug it in, and it's gonna charge up your batteries, and you're gonna be good to go on the water again the next day. Automatically turns the, uh, once the battery's charged, it automatically turns itself off and goes into a sleep mode. For some of the tournament angler guys that are going into tournaments, Prince Craft introduced this also. So you have a spot to measure your fish and you have a nice clean spot to put it away. The other thing that they really thought of here for storage wise was cargo netting underneath here. Storage goes way underneath on both sides. It goes into the passenger side, the driver side. And I mean, you can get safety kits, life jackets, you can get whatever you want up there. The next thing they introduced on this boat on both sides was the slide out drawers for storage, huge drawers. Um, 
I mean, this boat has lots of storage. That's what I love about this boat because a lot of other smaller fishing boats, they don't have the storage capacity sometimes on uh, what people are looking for and wanting. Uh, again, like I was telling you on the front trolling motor, uh, you do have a remote around your neck and you do have the foot pedal as backup. Um, some guys like to be on the foot pedal, some guys like to have the remote. What's nice about this is when somebody's up the front, your, your passenger or your uh, other person that's fishing with you in a tournament can also have this around their neck in case you're busy doing something up on the deck. Again, like I was telling you about the talon in the back, you can have this for remote up and down. We also have one here on the console for when you're driving and you want to put it down. And you can also, as backup, you have one right on the back of the talon itself that you can press the buttons to move it up and down. <clears throat> of course, you have the standard stuff on the boat. You have your horn. Um, this particular boat comes with uh, uh, gauges. This one here is your speed, obviously your RPM and your trim. Um, the gear is on the gauges right here. They light up uh, very bright at night so you can see everything. And uh, you do have trolling mode on this. You can set different modes on it for the motor itself for different trolling speeds. All nine yards. Very big upper deck right here for putting stuff on. You have all your main switches that light up for your billage pumps, air reader pumps, um, navigation lights, etc. This here was very smart of them. They made a good size console in this boat um, for guys that are really into uh, electronics. Um, this thing will hold up to a 12 inch. This particular one is uh, a Helix 9 that I put in. It is the same size as a Helix 10. This fish finder right here, we went a little bit more extreme on this fish finder. Um, it's got 2D sonar, it's got down imaging, it's got side imaging, uh, GPS, nav cards the whole nine yards but this particular model they came out with this last year called mega imaging and basically mega imaging is the picture is phenomenal um the clarity of this thing what you can see on the bottom now with this mega imaging is just next to none also you have your speakers tucked away here <clears throat> out of the way um you have your throttle control here also, you have a little bit more storage compartments down here. This is your blower system I was talking to you guys about um, for drying out your rod lockers. These switches right here are for your front and rear live well to let the water out let the, and uh, close them off to fill up your live wells. Um, another really nice thing is your tilt steering right here. Um, this particular model does come with tilt steering. You can tilt it up and down so when you're getting in and out of the seat, it's not in your way. Um, it does have obviously hydraulic steering because of the 250, the hydraulic steering. You can have this boat on plane driving around and you can use one finger. I don't recommend one finger, two hands on the wheel, safety first. Um, but very, very, very easy to maneuver this, maneuver this wheel. Next thing uh, is their seating. Their seating, very nice high seats. These are what uh, they call the deluxe seating package and basically what these seats do right here is they've designed these seats so when you're sitting down on the seats here it contours your body but the nice thing about that is in the back right here they do have on the upper piece right here it helps with your back for more comfort when you're enduring those bigger waves um, very very comfortable seat the other nice thing about these uh, seats right here is they do swivel around 360 and for some people that are driving the boat it has it on both sides where you can actually adjust the uh, seat in and out so we can maneuver it back and forth which in my opinion is, uh, is, a, is a must on the seating. Not everybody drives the boat the same, not everybody has the same body structure where some people like to be close to boats, some people like to be uh, away from the steering wheel more. But in layman's terms this boat is a one-of-a-kind package. <clears throat> it, is, it is a demo boat. If you're interested in this boat and you really want to come and see it we are at 1495 Pembroke Street West in Pembroke, Ontario. You can also email us, go on our website, um, check out some other videos that we are going to be putting on at the demo actually on the water. Um, so if you want to come down and see it, come on down. Don't forget about our boat show in March. And uh, if the demo is not sold by then, it will be there to look at also.